feel like it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we started, like, in the summertime. It should be done. It's it's pretty much done. Like, I guess we're just going to keep recording. And, you know what I mean? Like, you know, get a couple of these albums out that that's already done, you know? It's just like we want to put the put our best stuff out there, you know what I mean? Just to always keep people listening and keep them in tune to what we're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Speaking of people listening, the album is, of course, called uh, Violence Begets Violence. What should people expect in terms of lyricism versus the last album, which, of course, was called A History of Violence? Is it a continuation of the last album? Nah, nah. I mean, pretty much all the albums that me and Paz have done together start with violence, you know what I mean? Or, like, have violence in the title. So that's just, like, a theme that we've been doing. You know, EPMD kind of started that with strictly business then mm. unfinished business then you know what i mean business as usual business never personal and it, and, it, and they did just kept going like uh i think they were all they did an out of business <laughs> so, but yeah like uh we we just you know what i mean it's just like we just playing with the titles we might we might name the next one something totally different you know what i mean it's just like right that's how we feel at the time, you know what I mean? But yeah, everything has a rhyme and a pattern to it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm into that, you know what I mean? Like, I like like finding little similarities here and there and, like, working with that. Like, that's, that's like making a, a rhyme out of life, you know what I mean? Like, that's what we do. Absolutely. There's a method to your madness, absolutely. A big, a big part of Vinny's growth and transformation as an MC has almost been this ability for him to balance introspection and braggadocia in his raps in such a way that, you know, not many people can do today. How would you say your style has developed since the history of violence? Oh, man, I mean, you know, I would just let, have to let you hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm, more of, I'm more of like a lyricist of like, to me, you know, like, it's just like, I just put it out there, you know, I give a hundred percent and I just put it, put it on the table. You know, it's never like a focused thought. Like half the time when I'm writing anymore, it's just like, it just comes to me. It's not even like I'm thinking about it. It's like maybe like a subconscious thing of, of like writing. Like I don't even know how I do it anymore. It's just like, just so natural that like the words just come and the rhyme gets built, you know? And like, that's how I do it. So it, it's never like, and I'm always like picking up. I'm, I'm always listening to the, you know, I listen to all rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like listen to the hot, to, just to hear like good rhymes and, and good, and good beats, you know, like, like uh, I listen to like some mainstream balls, like, you know what I mean? That like, just, just to keep up with what's in tune or, or what's going on with today. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to keep your ear to the street, you know? So, yeah, like, yeah. we, I'm, I'm pretty much just like, but I'm a lyricist, you know what I mean? Like, my favorite rapper is Cool G Rap, you know what I mean? Like, and, you know, I think he's pretty much like the greatest musician to ever live, you know? Like, it's like, he, like, he, I hear stuff in him that, like, people, that goes over their head, like, on a daily basis, and it's just like, when you when you're able to connect with a rapper like that, you know what I mean? It's like, wow, like you know, like to, you when you want when people that understand rap, you know what I mean? For to, for the average person, rap just sounds like people yelling and screaming and, and saying curse words, you know what I mean? But like when it's more than that, when it's actually like lyricism, you know, like and when you can detect that, it's like that's something like that's an art form, you know what I mean? That's like art in itself, right there. <laughs> I mean, that's always been one of the most admirable things about you guys is the fact that, you know, despite how long your journey has been, how long you guys have been in the game for, you've always been students of the game and you're still students of the game. You know what I mean? And um, it's like G-Rap almost brought that mathematical style to the game and you inspired yourself and Vinny to, you know what I mean, hold the torch and continue on with that style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like... the. G rap, you know what I'm saying? Like he was always like, he was never like a big daddy Kane or like, you know what I mean? Even big as rock him, you know what I'm saying? But like, he was always dope. Like he, he's been dope since the eighties. You know what I mean? He knew he could rap. He didn't give a, give a fuck about like, 
what people thought or like, you know what I mean? Like be like success or trying to do a movie or, or some bullshit. Like he was just like a gangster rapper, you know what I mean? Like one of the first. So it's like when you're a rapper and that's what you do, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be rapping at 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just something I do. It's not like, like we're trying to like, uh, be one hit wonders and just hop in the the game and, and like, you know what I mean? And just like trying to do TV shows or, or like, this is like a building career for like, or building to something else. You know what I mean? Like, nah, like I'm a rapper. Like I'm going to be rapping until I'm like 60. Mm, so has it, I mean, is this album, is making this album been challenging? I mean, has it been a challenge, you know, when you've lost time between albums? Or does it feel like you've never went anywhere? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, it, we don't, what, what the fans don't see, like, when you're on the other side of it, like, I don't really be paying attention to when, to when releases happen. Or, like, sometimes I just be forgetting, like, Yo, like we the, the fans haven't heard me in a while. It's because we be on tour, you know what I mean? We be we be doing our thing. Like recording is oh, like it's not like you're never gonna hear me again. It's like recording is just so smooth and like natural to us that like yeah, we we record and, and like if you don't hear from us for a minute, oh, we coming. We that's probably when you about to right right before you about to hear from us. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's not like we're like like a marketing team of like, yo, we need an album out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's more of just like a casual, like, yo, we're friends who make music and this is what we do. You know what I mean? Like we're not looking at it like from a business standpoint of like, yo, like we, we need to like, um, market and promote like our sound. Of, like, you know, it's just not, it's, it's more of just like, yo, like we're just rappers, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Was any of this album planned with live shows in mind? You know, in the contemplation of how tracks are going to sound live? You know, knowing that touring is such a big part of what Jedi Mind does. I'm sorry, what was that? Did, was any of this album made with live shows in mind? You know, knowing how, how big live shows are for you? Did, you. did you make tracks on this album thinking of live shows and how those tracks would sound live? Yeah, yeah, uh, um, definitely, you know, like, some of the bigger beats, like, some of the producers are better, and, like, you know what I mean, like, what you would hear in a club, like, I really don't have a club ear, though, you know what I'm saying, like, my, my, my ear is more of just, like, like, sounds, sounds, and, like, underground shit, you know what I mean, but, like, yeah, there's stuff that, like, the main majority of people are gonna always like, you know, so, yeah, like, some of the beats are, like, catered to that. And that's cool because it keeps the show going. You know what I mean? Like, it keeps the show. Like, we got joints. Like, we can hit niggas with, like, joints all night. But, you know what I mean? What's going to keep the crowd interested as a whole It's going to be, like, a certain select party joints that we got. You know what I mean? Or joints that just, you know what I mean? We always, we, we never really make party joints. But, like, we make songs that are just, like, the beats are more like, you know, what I mean, your your girl might like it or something like that. Right, right. I don't suppose you guys have fought as far as ahead as you know a UK tour in two thousand eleven. What's that? I, I don't. I don't suppose you guys have been thinking about a UK tour as of yet in t for two thousand. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we plan to get out there. You know, what I mean, like. Uh, we the next tour probably popping off will be uh, Army of the Pharaohs, me me out of space and Reef will probably come out there and rock for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And then like uh, Jedi Mind Tricks probably in the summertime, like hit Manchester and London in the past like year. You know, so it's like uh, I don't know. You know, like um. I, w I would like to be in a, hit to a lot of parts of the UK. I guess it's like a promoter thing or something like that. But yeah, we usually sell it out and rock it. You know what I mean? Wherever we're in the UK. And I like British girls, man. <laughs> yeah, all US rappers do, man. We spoke to Necro uh, a couple of shows back. Of course, we offended a lot of our listeners, which we apologize for. But uh, he was telling us all about UK girls, how, how friendly UK girls can be with US rappers. <laughs> 
You know, I don't, I wouldn't know. You know, we've been there twice, and I think I struck out a couple of times. So. Mm. <laughs> They but, that- yeah, I'm definitely trying. I'm sw- I'm still swinging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, we'll leave that there. I don't want to offend any more people again. But listen, man, the new, brand new album, Jedi Mind Tricks, let's ask you one more thing about that. Is Stoop producing the whole thing? No. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I think he's overseeing a lot of the production. But, you know, like, we got a lot of new cats we're working with, you know. And it's not even, like, as artists, we're just, like, Yo, we're, we're, um, what he's given us wasn't, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, his contribution to the album was just a little different than what we were wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, like it was whack or anything like that. It was more of just like, yo, like we're hungry to eat up on these new beats. You know what I'm saying? Or like give these new dudes some shine. You know, Stu's definitely going to have like, three or four tracks on the album, you know what I mean? And he's definitely, like, helping out with the production on, like, a couple tracks, like, but uh, as far as, like, um, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing, we got, like, a couple new dudes, like, that we're working with, you know what I mean? See Lance, the homie, like, he got, like, some monster cuts on there, you know, like, and we're just doing it, like, you know what I mean, like, we normally do it, like, it's not, it's going to be, like, it's Jedi, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be like on some like, this is like the new, just keeping up with the times type deal, you know? Mm. All right, excellent, man. Listen, just a lot. It's been an absolute pleasure. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out. One thing that a few listeners have asked us to ask you tonight is, has Vinny and have you heard the Atma diss of Vinny Paz? Have you heard that joint yet? <laughs> nah, you know I have seen those dudes on the internet before. It's like, I mean, yo, you know, I, <laughs> like I, I, that that kind of stuff is funny to me. I I I know of these dudes, you know, like these are dudes that beg us for guest spots all the time. Like they write us pretty much love letters on MySpace and Facebook, like how much they love our music. Mm. And then they end up dissing us, you know what I mean? And it's just like, when, whenever we don't think anyone is good or, you know what I mean? We might not think a dude is hot. You know what I mean? He comes out with a diss towards us. You know what I mean? Even though like we were probably like the father to a style, you know what I mean? Like mm. it's, it's just like, I don't, I don't know who this dude is. I don't care to know, you know, I, like there's, I listen to, I could tell you who I listen to in our genre of music. I listen to Ill Bill. I listen to, and I listen to Jedi mind tricks. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Like mm-hmm. there's not, there's none of these other groups popping up that I'm like ever interested in, or I would ever care to listen to. Like, mm-hmm. and they sound just like us, but whacker lyrics. And like, it, it's just like an amateur night of Jedi mind tricks and nonfiction and necro, you know what I mean? And like everyone who's like, see, like we get it the most because we're consistent with the, with the boom bap shit. You know what I mean? Like Mm. there was, there's been other crews that have had like weird styles or, or something like that. And like a gimmick and then got in and got out of the game and then no one really says anything about them or they think that it's like, wow. But we, th- you got to remember, well, this is our third or fourth album. Like, mm-hmm. we've been putting out albums. Like, the career we have has been lo- a lot longer than most major label artists' careers. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're torn. When we, when we be overseas, we be bigger than most rappers, like, that I'm like, damn, like, they know me, but they don't know him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say who, but it's just like, mm. there's people that know us, know Jedi mind tricks, show us love. We just got back from Norway, man. Like, they got the finest girls there, dog. <laughs> Trust me, like, the hottest bitches, like, you got to, are in Norway. And, and you know, we're, we're getting, we got treated like rock stars, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about, like, these, these dudes that are just on the internet. You know what I mean? It's like, they, one, they, it's like no one's paying attention to them until they shout our names out. You know what I mean? This dude, Atma, he's been hitting me since MySpace was popular. Like, how much you love my music. You know what I mean? Like, asking me for how much I charge for guest spots. You know what I mean? This shit, that shit is funny to me. And now he's, like, got a diss 
towards my bull. Like, that's kind of corny. You know what I mean? Like, I'd, I'd never made a diss on someone like, like, you, you're never going to hear me with, like, a diss towards, like, tattoos or anything. I'm like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, all that shit is corny. It's like, mm. like, why would you diss someone that you respected and admired? You know what I mean? Just because they're shorting you because you're, you're being annoying on, on Facebook or, you know what I mean? That's what it is. It's more of like, when we shut these dudes down of like, yo, we don't want to work with you. Like, or bomb, like a bomb shot. I bomb shot. I never recorded one song with the dude. He put out a whole CD of him dick riding me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, wow. Like this dude is a real fan. Like if you thought you were that nice, what would you even need to mention my name for? You know, like you're like, but, but I don't think people it's like a maturity level and an intelligence level that a failed artist, that, that's the reason like they're always going to be failed artists because they stick in that like mentality. You know what I mean? Mm. Our mentality in mind state, me and Paz is like, yo, let's be the hottest thing out. Let's, let's like work on the rhymes. Like these cats are like, yo, let's bite. Let's be like such and such. You know what I mean? Or, or they come up with an idea that's like 10 years too late. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been keeping it real and doing our thing original since the beginning, man. Like I can give a fuck about these dudes. I challenge these dudes to fights. You know what I mean? Like I'll fight you. I'll just straight up fight you. Like we won't have to rap battle or anything. You know what I mean? Like I, I'll, I, I, I've never had any person come up to me at a show that wanted to fight me, you know, like, the, all these haters online and stuff like that. Mm. I'm in Jersey. I'm right in New Jersey. If you really want to have a problem with me, you can come to right where I'm at. I can tell you where I hang out every day, drink and smoke. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can really see, you can find me. Mm. But like these other dudes, like I don't even know whether they live in like weird bubble fuck places. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm not like going to chase you down. Like you got to come to where I'm at. You're the one. To, I'm not making this records towards you. I don't even know who you are. Like you got to come to me, you know, and no one's accepted that challenge. So yeah. all that is irrelevant. You know, like if you're not, if you're not man enough to approach me in my face about nothing, like I, I don't even acknowledge that. Yeah, no, I understand exactly what, what you're saying there with a the full point. And I do understand the whole thing about MySpace and Facebook and people wanting to be close, wanting to work with artists that they really admire, and that not happening, so therefore they translate that into another form of contacting the artist. I do understand what you're saying with that. Listen, just a lot, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. Really appreciate this feature-length interview tonight. Uh, just one final point, then, one final thing that people have asked us to ask you. Uh, AOTP, what's the status with that brand new album? And, of course, are you going to be part of that? Yeah, man. Um, um, we 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 that's probably like the next thing, you know what I mean? Like me and Paz, we we're just going to bang out some more Jedi mind trick songs, you know? And then casually, like we work on the next, uh, army of the Pharaohs, you know, we might even hit you with like an official pistol gang record. You know what I'm saying? Like, like just the core, just the core dudes, you know what I mean? Like just like the, the pistol carriers in the crew, you know what I'm saying? Like the certified dudes, you know, that that's like rock hard dudes that ain't going to crumble, you know, like we might even hit y'all with that, but yeah, army of the Pharaohs, that'll, that'll probably be in, in the works too. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe like if anything, it'll be like in the fall or next winter or something like that. But we got mad shit coming at you. Like we got space, we got the heavy metal Kings. We got pads of solo. We got my solo, you know what I mean? And then whatever from there, you know, just expect that, like, it's going to be a total takeover. Nobody's doing nothing we're doing. No one sounds quite like we do. You know what I mean? Like, we are the underground cool dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, come have a drink with us, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. And I think on that note, man, we're going to round things up. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been education, man. It really has throughout the interview tonight. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. And Happy New Year, of course. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year. You All guys be safe, man. All right. Take care. God bless you. Just Allah. Plenty to talk about. Plenty for you to listen to there. Friday Night Live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, fame. What up, motherfucker? What up, motherfucker? 
Dizzy Womack on the beat. MOP. Fire and squad. Official pistol gang. Official gang.